So rehabilitation after rotator cuff repair, this is a, a definitely a topic that, that most patients want to understand before they undergo rotator cuff repair surgery. So um, for, for our practice, we like to keep it pretty simple. Um, there's really kind of two standard repair protocols that we have. Uh, one is for really small tears. Uh, in small tears, we can be a little bit more aggressive with how quickly we let you move. For bigger retracted tears or poor tissue, poor bone quality, we slow you down a little bit because we're a little bit more concerned about how quickly your tendon is going to heal and also the strength of the repair. So um, for all rotator cuffs across the board, you're going to have an operation. Afterwards, you're going to be in a sling. Okay. Now, I have you wear that sling when you're in public. You do not need to wear it when you're sitting or sleeping at the house. And I'll repeat that. You do not need to wear your sling when you're sitting or sleeping at the house, but I do want you to wear it when you're in public. What I want you, all my patients, after they have their rotator cuff fixed, is to limit any lifting of the arm for the first four weeks. Okay, so no lifting of the arm. You can bend and use your elbow. So I like to tell patients you're kind of like a T-Rex, right? So your arm stays close to your body, so you can get your hand to your mouth. You can come up to this level. Um, but we don't want you going behind the back for sure or elevating your arm like this uh, because th what that does is it pulls on the repair. So that's for the first four to six weeks after the surgery. After six weeks, we let the vast majority of our rotator cuffs move as much as they want, but we still limit the lifting to no more than a pound. After three months, we let you start lifting more than a pound and start to begin gentle strengthening with physical therapy with the hope that you'll be recovered fully by six months to one year after the procedure. So again, it's four to six weeks in a sling, no elevation, but you can still use your elbow. And again, things like typing, feeding yourself, you know, getting dressed, that frees you up to do that. After four to six weeks, you can move the arm as much as you want, but still no lifting more than a pound. At three months, we can let you start to gently lift and, and strengthen the shoulder, full recovery, roughly six months.